Hello my dear legendary gamers, I am Unkit aka Dark Star and I am back with another video. In this video, we'll talk about some major changes to Skyline Emulator. We'll look into the UI changes and some important bug fixes. So, let's get to the video. Talking about mainline release, some initial set of fixes has been implemented for Mali GPUs which greatly improves performance and game compatibility and the deallocation of unmapped memory has been implemented which reduces RAM buildup over time in some games. Basically, it reduces the RAM usage after long gaming sessions. Talking about Edge version 38 release. Skyline Edge version 38 doesn't let free guest memory by default which fixes crashes in Skyrim and Breath of the Wild, but Super Mario Odyssey will look weird due to those fixes. It also fixes characters' issues in Persona games, and possibly fixes crashes in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, by not letting free guest buffer memory. Skyline Edge version 38 fixes water in Skyrim by clearing stencil instead of clearing depth. Random crashes in Breath of the Wild and Super Mario Odyssey has also been fixed by clearing chained fence cycles. Also, remapped clears has been fixed which will help Unreal Engine 4 games and near games. TIC caching has also been improved which fixes random flashing textures in OpenGL games. The latest Skyline Edge has fixed Breath of the Wild graphics on Mali GPUs by avoiding populating color targets. A pause button has been implemented in Overlay and it works just like you pause a video. An option called, Free Guest Texture Memory, has been implemented which will result in freeing the RAM. The biggest GUI change is that a picture-in-picture -picture mode has been implemented which will show a little window after minimizing the emulator. That's it for the video, if you liked the video then please leave a like and also consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching.